Well, this morning we're looking at home security, how you're leaving yourself and your home at risk and how to protect them. In the past financial year, nearly 21,000 homes have been broken into in the Perth metro area alone. That's 56 homes every day right across the Perth metro area. Rachel Carey, it's a worrying statistic and really one that we can't afford to ignore. That's right, Tim. And on top of that, more than 23,000 homes were damaged while in the process of being burgled last financial year and more than 65,000 cars were broken into too. But to put a stop to that, I'm joined now by security expert Chris Coverage. And Chris, we're at a home about 5 k's from the Perth CBD. Let's start with the front door. How can we make this home safer? Well, the front door is the most direct route into the house. So a door like this is going to be a bit of a challenge just with the glass panels. Uh, it can easily be smashed. Generally you want to be able to identify the person at the front door before you even answer it. So this has got a deadlock on it, again those panels can be smashed, but as long as you can answer the front door uh, and, sorry, and there's a, a, a security screen there with a mesh, you can then identify that person as to the reason that they're there. Uh, the other thing is this deadlock should generally be locked at all times, uh, even with that security door there, uh, these panels can be smashed and a hand gotten through to open up and unlock the door and they're in. Fantastic. Thank you for that. What else should we be looking at? In the well, generally, OK, let's say the person's got in. Uh, preferably you want a, a security uh, alarm. Uh, that's a, a, a PIR sensor there which would detect movement. So the alarm would then be activated at this point. Uh, and alarms are generally uh, well priced these days. Uh, and you can even get home alarm uh, systems and CCTV systems uh, at a very good price. Should every home have an alarm? Uh, look, every home should at least uh, talk to a licensed security provider and get them to come out and do an assessment on the home. Uh, and you'll find that there's uh, some very simple things that you can do. Uh, but I think it's, it's definitely well worthwhile. Uh, and certainly with CCTV these days, uh, with IP video, uh, you can get low cost uh, uh, options, I suppose. And what about this room? So we're at the front of the house here, um, windows everywhere. Yeah, well, we're in the main bedroom, so it's going to be a, an, an initial target for them. Uh, doors and, uh, and uh, windows should always be locked and you notice even with this homeowner uh, it's a common uh, mistake to keep the keys in the lock. Again uh, this, this door is very weak, the older style homes uh, can often just be jemmied open or, or kicked open uh, and locks in, uh, in windows uh, can easily be just cracked with a screwdriver and they get their hand in uh, with the key. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today, Chris and Tim. At 8.30, we'll head into the yard to see how you can secure your home from the outside. All right, good stuff, Rachel. Thank you.